Stop, stop, stop talking for a second. I'm going to get to the end of the sentence. Don't say anything for 10 seconds. OK. When you ask a question, you listen and you don't say anything. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 awkward moments on The Right Stuff. I was married. The wife has gone away. Um, left. Well, um, have you ever wondered why? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That's right, for this list, we're going to be looking at the times where host Matthew Wright and his array of guests and callers have gotten themselves into pretty excruciating moments on live breakfast TV. Got a favorite Wright stuff moment that makes you cringe uncontrollably? Let us know in those comments below. She's on notice. She's on notice. She's dumped. Number 10, Matthew versus the pensioner. There are a few looks quite as bad as ripping into a pensioner, but that's the road that host Matthew Wright takes when an older gentleman calls in to discuss then Prime Minister Theresa May. It's infantile, frankly, and it comes from tabloid press. Chicken, well, you know, it's, it's a calculated... Okay, let, 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 let's go for a word that you, you might find uh, uh, more to your uh, incredibly highbrow level uh, than cowardly, frightened, scared. Matthew bizarrely accuses the caller of using highbrow language and then rants about how pensioners have a much easier time than younger people. It's an uncomfortable watch. It's that pensioners in this country have never had such a good time, while working people, young working families, have never had such a hard time. The caller's original comment is entirely fair and decent, but for whatever reason, it clearly rattles Matthew, whose aggressive stance is pretty unwarranted. When your caller is telling you they know you don't like pensioners, you know you've screwed up. John, nice talking to you. Let's have another. If you don't want a TV debate, we won't have a TV debate. Number nine, Ian Lee's divorce. Don't worry about me. No, you're don't right. worry about me. I don't read what you, you don't believe what you read in the papers. I'm good. Broadcasting 101. If an interviewee makes it clear they don't want to talk about something, don't go there. As Matthew found out all too well when broadcaster and comedian Ian Lee appeared on the show, it's never going to end well. Uh, I, I've said three times to your producers I'm not talking about oh, this. Oh, right, okay. So I'm not talking about it. It's private. Lee shuts down Matthew's question relating to his recent divorce, but he keeps pressing and pressing until Lee eventually threatens to take action. I'm so close to telling you to F off and walking off right now. Well, if that's what you want to do. And it's a threat he took up too, as when the show returned from commercial break, Lee was no longer on set. Matthew's lack of awareness is pretty shocking here. It's supremely insensitive to the guest and immensely uncomfortable to watch. A perfect awkward moment. Number eight, Tory MP takes Viagra. The story I'm about oh, to, no, to tell okay. is about David Cameron's uh, reshuffle. Uh, and, um, and, and guess who features in his reshuffle? I don't know. Ta Justine Greening! It's not every day you hear the words conservative politician, herbal Viagra, and breakfast TV all in the same breath, so we're incredibly chuffed to share this gloriously bizarre moment with you. Tory MP Ed Visey is probably the last person you expect to see appearing on The Right Stuff to test the performance of the herbal Viapro pills. And yet, inexplicably, it happened, complete with commentary of the effects and frequent questioning of Matthew. You took a, a Viagra-type exactly. tablet on this show. Yes. Right. It, it gave a huge rise to your, to your career. career. Thankfully, we spared anything too graphic, but the mere sight of Visey swallowing the orange pill on live TV while claiming his hands feel tingly is enough to make this a must-have entry. Well, let's just remind everyone what you did. Herbal okay. Viagra. Number seven, boys should cry. Oh, hi there, John in Glasgow. Yes, I'll Hi there. You. What's fascinating about the format of The Right Stuff is that, even when Matthew isn't on the show, it still manages to create hilariously awkward moments. Here, guest host Anne Diamond is chairing a chat about whether or not it should be acceptable for boys to cry. But she can't have been expecting Glaswegian caller John's input on the debate. John, it transpires, is very much in favor of men crying, and likened its cathartic nature to, well... Well, pers personally, I think men should be allowed to cry. Anything, because they get a great relief. It's like doing a bit of toilet in the morning, you, you feel good after it. Mm. And... You'll have to see the clip in full to find out, but rest assured, it's gloriously crude. Anne's grin says it all. Awkward and hilarious. Put it very succinctly there. <laughs> Number six, Matthew hates bottled water. Um, if you drink tap water, yep. you're drinking a cocktail of chemicals used for purification. Right. You're also using the, drinking the residues of other people's drugs. 
Of course, when Matthew is in the host chair, there's always so much potential for awkwardness, and this clip is a perfect example of that. Matthew takes great issue with caller Gilly's penchant for, of all things, drinking bottled water. And not even for environmental reasons either. It's the supposed chemicals in it that bothers him. Chilly, 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 chilly. We're taking water from countries where they haven't got a water supply, a clean water supply for their own people. We're all entitled to our own opinions, but getting this rattled by something so trivial is utterly hilarious. You are damaging your own health because every bottle of water you take, that bottle has been manufactured. The fumes are going up into the sky, the greenhouse gases, the carbon footprint's enormous. The moment is so awkward that it makes you question the need for Alan Partridge when real life presenters are producing this sort of content. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, Matthew. Don't worry about it. It's probably the, the a bottle of water makes you deaf. Number five, fish and chips. Doris on the line from Glasgow. Oh, hello, Doris. Sometimes a prank is so well executed, it leaves you wondering if it was even a prank at all. Standing in for Matthew again, and Diamond's discussion on national anthems is interrupted by a call from Doris, who promptly recites an order for a fish and chip takeaway supper. Uh, can I have two fish suppers and uh, two cans of iron brew, please? This is our second highest ranked prank call for a reason. It's so simple in its intent, and yet so sublimely delivered in its execution. There's no build-up, no obvious punchline, just one sentence of pure British joy. Even Anne finds it funny. Doris from Glasgow, we salute you. Uh, can I have two fish suppers and uh, two cans of iron brew, please? Number four, George Michael calls in. Hi. Hi, George Michael. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> We'll never know exactly what Matthew was expecting as he drove to work on this fateful day, but we'd imagine it probably didn't involve pop legend George Michael phoning into the studio. Michael had reportedly become addicted to the right stuff and happened to be watching when Matthew broke the story that the singer and his boyfriend Kenny Goss had split up. This was news to Michael, and he phoned Matthew up unannounced to set the story straight, in the middle of a motoring segment, no less. Out there again, and I get, you know, I get the Kenny's walked out on me, which is complete shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Matthew can't decide if he should be embarrassed or flattered by the call. We just think it's hilariously awkward. I'm shocked that I love your show because of all the nasty things you wrote about me in the 80s. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Number three, ex-wife. And uh, when you were saying about the freedom of speech thing, I'd still say that uh, Shannon Good makes a Oh! The ultimate in right stuff prank calls. The setup is simple. Man calls in, pretends to talk about Matthew's subject matter for a few seconds before unleashing some nasty insults directed at his ex-wife Sharon and promptly being cut off. So what was wrong with your childhood being raised in a loving family where you weren't smacked? That as a one-off bait and switch, it's not that funny, but then the genius happens. Matthew takes his next caller, and somehow it's him again. Of the presumably thousands of callers waiting on hold, it's absolutely hysterical that this guy got put through twice in a row just to insult his ex. Oh, are you for or against minimum price? I'm against it. I can't get what Shannon Goodmate's been saying, the stupid Whether he bought tons of burner phones specifically, or just got lucky, it's incredible commitment to the cause. You can't even walk down the road these days and say Shannon Goodman. Number two, Matthew's traffic meltdown. We've seen Matthew get worked up over some pretty trivial things, but this undeniably comes up trumps as the best of the bunch. Shut up down there with that lorry! I'm sick of your beeping ways! All it takes is a lorry reversing outside the studio for Matthew to lose his rag big time. In trademark style, he's banging on the window, shouting at the driver to shut it, and claiming he's sick of his beeping ways. The noise, Lowry! The noise! And if that wasn't enough, he later blames the EU for the disruption for some reason. His guests attempt to calm him down, but Matthew is clearly rattled by it all, despite it being an incredibly minor issue. This is peak right stuff. <laughs> Are we calm? Number one, David Van Day dumps his girlfriend. Because I'm actually dating a lady, very beautiful lady, Sue Moxley from the Sun, beauty editor, yeah. Right. Obsessed with fame, obsessed with work. Dumping someone over the phone is one thing, but doing it on live TV is something else. For whatever reason, Guys and Dolls singer Van Day decided that his guest appearance on Right Stuff was the perfect opportunity to call his relationship with journalist Sue Moxley quits. I love you, but 
I'm not prepared to put up with this anymore. And so would I dump you now? Yes, I would. Matthew and his panel are clearly aghast as Van Day confirms what he calls his celebrity dumping with the singer showing no signs of guilt or remorse whatsoever. Staggeringly, Van Day and Moxley got back together soon after and are happily married to this day. But the happy ending doesn't detract from Van Day's insanely cold behavior. Sorry, you got a 16 year old kid, then stop doing that kind of stuff live on telly. Well, you've just yeah, been yeah. told off, David. There's no topping that. This is the ultimate awkward moment on the right stuff. Congratulations, David. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.